screwed on tight tonight, I'm telling you. you. See, he says hi, Mom, to us, but his mom's in the stands. I don't understand that at all. This is Mike Pishinary. What a night he had for Kempsville. That set up the first touchdown of the game, but when they kicked off, Cedric Warren ran it back 92 yards for a touchdown for Green Run. So it was 7-7. Seven seven. Back to Pishinary, number 32 for Kempsville. He ran the ball 38 times for 172 yards. That set up his second touchdown. He has 22 touchdowns on the year. Kempsville, the quarterback, Fred Sanders made it 21 to seven. This game's over, you would think. But in the fourth quarter, here comes Green Run. Green Run unbeaten on the season. This pass deflected, but Ben Root catches it. Faraby to Root for a touchdown, 21-14. A minute to go, Faraby rolling out right. This would be to, well, get within one with the touchdown. Faraby finds Ben Root again. Whoa. Oh, decision time. Cadillac Harris decides to go for two and the win instead of going for overtime. Faraby rolls out right. If he makes it into the win, he gets run out of bounds. Kempsville wins the district championship. Both teams are in the playoff 21 to 20, the final. Our Bab Bob Matthews was there. They came, they saw, they tore the house down. Literally, those are the goalposts. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Undefeated Green Run's only offense of the first three quarters came when Cedric Warren ran this kickoff back 90 plus yards to a race is short, seven to nothing, Kempsville lead. But the Chiefs' Mike Pishinary gave them a 14-7 halftime advantage with his second touchdown of the game. And then on the third, Quarterback Fred Sanders made it 21-7 on this rollout to the right. The Stallions looked buried in the fourth quarter when Plaxico Buras fumbled deep in Kentsville territory, but the defense held. And with time running out, Glenwood Farabee found Ben Root for his second touchdown of the fourth quarter, and the Stallions were within one point. They decided to win it in regulation, so they went for two, but Farabee can't get in, which means Kentsville coach John Bowles gets a Gatorade bath and the Beach District title. It feels great. It really does. Our guys did an outstanding job tonight, and I tell you what, we had some adversity early with the kicking game, and they came back and uh, they showed a lot of character, a lot of class. They really did. The best two teams on the south side, you bet. They tore the house down tonight. Now it's on to the playoffs. Our TV10 high school football top 10 this week wins the Beach District Championship with a 21-20 thriller over third-ranked and previously unbeaten green run. Let me take you to the beach where head coach John Bowles has done a great job this year. Control the ball and run, run, run. Chiefs in blue. They were led by the slashing running style of Mike Pichonari. Kimsville built a 14-7 halftime lead, but seconds to go in the game. Green run fights back down 21-14. Glenwood Fair be the quarterback. Scrambles for time. Goes to his right, lets one go in desperation, tight end Ben Root above the Chiefs defenders for the touchdown. So down by one, Green Run goes for two in the win. Faraby takes the snap, goes to his right again. This time gets pushed out of bounds by the Chiefs defense. Kitsville will win the game and the BC Championship 21-20. You know, I think we've been counted out a lot during the year. It's, uh, yeah, it really is sweet. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad for the boys there that they did such a great job coming back and winning nine straight. We knew we could be good, but losing that first game kind of kicked us in the butt, made us play harder, made us practice harder. We wanted it. We just wanted it more.